we will finally start catching Pokemon in today's episode on Pixelmon Beyond. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Pixelmon from the Pixelmon Beyond server. My name is Dave, I'll be host for this episode. As always. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, we'll start catching Pokemon today, but we've got some other things to do first. Um, we gotta get some Pokeballs, for example. I have none of them. Already claimed this one. Alright. Um, I wanna check out spawn. We need some food. Um, I wanna start building on a house. So yeah, lots and lots to do. It is um, not even 24 hours after the server went up. And I just got up after sleeping for six hours, but I couldn't sleep any longer. Um, I woke up and was like, I want to play Pixelmon, so I'm here now. Um, yeah, I know I said in the last episode that we will uh, be decked out in ruby gear for this episode. That didn't happen because I didn't find anything. And then I had to go to bed. Uh, so, yeah. I will have to go mining uh, during this episode at some point to get the resources still. So I'll, I'll get some stuff there. So, um, we made it over to close to spawn. I'm not sure if this is already part of it. Oh, hey, there's another portal. Nice. We can get some food over here. I'm pretty sure people won't mind if we get that. See some stuff light out on the ground. That might be a road. Not quite sure. I just wanted to check out spawn f um, really quick. Really, I'm looking for food. So currently, I got on me one apple. One mushroom stew, one cooked rabbit, one cooked chicken, one cooked salmon, one cooked fish. <laughs> and that is all the food I own. So, um, yeah. Let's get some berries as well. Uh, I, I really need food. That's why we're checking out spawn. I don't want to see what's going on so far. Uh, not much. That's the area where we were standing in the very intro. Somebody already has the cherry trees. Close to house. I think uh, Babs was working on that. I think I heard people talking about that. And I know Babs really likes these trees, so... Maybe we can snag a sapling or two from her. That would be awesome. I really like building with that wood. Um, other than that, I don't think much has happened around spawn yet. First things first, if we want to catch some Pokemon, um, we need some Pokeballs. And I've heard uh, somewhere in these mountains, just south of spawn, there should be a village. Maybe there's a market, um, so we can buy some Pokeballs there. I don't actually have any money. Uh, I got <laughs> the 32 bucks from last episode. Um, but I want to see just if there actually is uh, a market and if there are traders around to buy, uh, to sell things, right? So, I uh, quickly want to check that out. Looks like somebody set things up. Arena! Ooh, this is where the arena goes. Fancy. And I see the market on the mini-map. Awesome. Uh, so the first Pokemon that I want to catch is probably um, the Talon Flame. So probably catch the Fletching. Um, just so we can start flying around. I think that will be very, very useful. Oh, there we go. Savannah City. Awesome. It's set down there. Uh, yeah, so we'll get the Talon Flame first. That's what we'll work on in this episode for sure. First, we need the Pokeballs. Um, yellow. You have found the village. That is correct. Uh, so I guess we're not buying anything. Um, yeah, well, I guess, I guess we got to craft Pokeballs. But that's why we have um, the Epricorn set up at our place. No loot in here, obviously, anymore. Looks like people are living close by. Yeah, it's pretty much what I expected, so not too much of a shock. Wait, what's up with you guys? What do you got? Where you got that? Uh, I want to talk to that person with the thing. Uh, you. Can you have uh, some apricorns for me? Uh, I, I guess. Great, I look forward to hearing back from you. H how many do you need? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know how that works. Okay, quests. Apricorn avalanche. Ooh. What? Ten? No, we're not doing that. Yeah, sure. Interesting. Avistan. Explore the wilderness can lead... 
Harvest the red apricorn. Yeah, we can do that. Medic, you will probably want to heal up your party. Okay. So there are quests now. Uh, probably to guide you a little bit through the mod pack. Uh, finding the village and speaking to a villager apparently was one of those. Oh, we got potions for that. Oh, that's cool. Doctor Who. Having used the healer in a Pokemon Center, it is time to create your own. Craft a healer. Oh, I already have one. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, good to know. We'll probably do that in the future again, so we'll continue with the quests. Maybe we dedicate a full episode to just doing quests, but um, for now, I guess I'll go and craft some Pokeballs. I've harvested the red apricorn, which was a quest. Now it wants us to craft a Pokeball, so we'll do that one on camera. I already got some stuff for some Ultra Balls, so... Um, here's, in, in case you don't know how to craft uh, Pokeballs, first you harvest the apricorns, then you put them into a furnace. Um, you get the cooked ones, then you craft the uh, discs like that. If You gotta do the same thing with either iron or aluminum to get the bottom uh, half of the thing, and then... You take those discs, put them on an anvil with a right click, uh, pick some on an anvil, and then you hammer them until they pop off, like this, uh -huh. and then you got the lid and the base. Awesome. Now what we need is a bit of smooth stone, just normal stone. We'll craft this one into a button, and then we can go ahead. And craft a cells Pokeball. You crafted a Pokeball. Awesome. Did we get anything from that? Um, let's craft a healer. With your newly acquired Pokeball, you are ready to try and add a new Pokemon to your party. Catch a fire type Pokemon. We'll actually do that probably. Moving up, we'll be crafting a great ball. Well, now what we want to do is craft some uh, of, of these. Uh huh. Some ultra balls. Awesome. I'll craft the rest as well. But uh, in the meantime, is this fisherman still around? He wanted to see a fishing rod, right? I kind of want to see what's up with that. And I happen to know that with the pokeball, we can craft an old rod. Uh -huh. Let's get rid of that. My inventory's filling up. No oh boy. Uh, let's see what this guy says about the fishing rod. Where is he? Is he still around? Yeah, it looks like that NPC fisherman is no longer around. The one that's not a uh, trainer. So, once uh, another one spawns, which will probably happen, uh, we'll show him this old rod and we'll see what he says about it. Now that we got the Ultra Balls and a few Pokeballs, it is time to go and actually try to catch our first Pokemon. And, um, as you can see, uh, chests are appearing. Uh, <laughs> it's about time, uh... I built myself a house, otherwise uh, this will just keep spreading. So, um, the Talon Flame. So we gotta catch the Fletchinder, right? I think that was the name of the uh, first evolution. It spawns during daytime, check, in a frozen forest, we know where one is, um, on the treetops. It also spawns in birch forests, I think in birch forests it can uh, just spawn on the ground. But yeah, in the frozen forests, for sure, um, Oh, hello, Pikachu. For sure, on the um, on the treetops. Oh, hey, don't, 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 don't kill my Brion. Don't, don't do it. You gotta run. Oh no! Oh, this is not good. I think we gotta turn around. All right, we used uh, Sing, so it's asleep now. Uh, let's see, water gun. I probably won't do much. Oh, we're paralyzed now. Damn it. Back to base. What a rude Pikachu that was. Alright, we have made it to the right biome. I've already seen Talonflame fly by. That's one of the pokes that we want. Uh, I don't think I really care too much about which evolution stage we get. Oh, what was that? Is that one? I don't know what kind of Pokemon that was, but that was tiny. That'd be perfect. So, I'll probably catch several of these, um, if I can... Uh, there's one. I'll probably catch several of these if I can uh, manage with the few Pokeballs that we have. Uh, and then we'll pick the best nature and the smallest growth. That would be perfect. Um, small Pokemon with the right nature, that'd be awesome. 
I guess first I gotta get close to one of these. They're all up in the sky. I kind of thought they would like be actually on top of the treetops uh, and not up in the sky flying. <laughs> this is a little awkward now. I don't have a flyer yet. I don't know how to get these. Aha! There's one. Come on, fight me. I'm a little guy. There we go. Awesome. A fletchling. So fletchling was the first um, stage of it and then the next one was fletchender and then talent flame. I keep forgetting how that is. Alright, it's asleep. I don't th think we will attack it. We are very effective against it. I mean, we could. I think I'll just throw the Pokeball, though. I was definitely thinking about just throwing the Pokeball at a uh, few. We might do that over here if we catch this one. Hey, there we go. There we go. Our first new friend. Awesome. Pick me, that's perfect. Hardy nature. It's not ideal. It's not bad, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at this one. Stop dying. I really like walking around just throwing Pokeballs at Pokemon. Oh, wow. That was very lucky. Number two. Let's have a look at this one. Lax nature. Alright, well. We'll go around and probably catch a few more. And then, as I said, we'll just pick the best one. I got you now. There we go. Should be the next one, right? I mean, Ultra Ball on the level 5? Yeah, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, the look, stats, Jolly. Uh, speed up, special attack down. I think that's good. Jolly nature. Is this one a special attacker or is it a physical attacker? I don't actually remember. I feel like it would be physical though, right? Smogon says that is correct. Jolly is the right nature that we want to have. Now, we can't use the slash, IV, and EV commands at the moment. Um, but we can check these in a different way. It's a huge growth, though. That is not ideal. Oh, well, I think we'll stick with this one for now. now I want to have a small one because we are supposed to fly around on it. And having a big Pokemon will just be in the way. But yeah. So what we can do to check EVs and IVs is go into Mod Options. Go to Pixelmon Information, Config, uh, Wayla, Entities, and then turn on the EVs and the IVs. I set that the opposite way, then I clicked on it. Um, there you go. By default, these are enabled, but we figured we should probably not just have this around all the time. Alright, so the IVs are HP is up, attack is really low, defense is low, special attack is decently up. Nothing perfect. Speed is decently high, I guess, with uh, 23. That's alright. It's not perfect, but you know what? I think this is uh, the one that we'll take for now. I guess it's about time to make ourselves a uh, PC. Um, here's how you make one. First off, you get some... Aluminum, you put it onto the anvil and then you hammer it into plates. So you get those, we need six of these. Uh, there we go, that is number six for me. Now we got all of those. Then we need a piece of redstone, we need a glass, a glass pane, I'm working on that at the moment. And we need a redstone lamp, so we need some glowstone for that. I don't think I've found any yet, so uh, let's quickly head to the nether. Oh boy, this can't be good for frames. <laughs> no way this is good for frames. That looks fancy though. Ooh, birch chest. Interesting. Uh, we just need a little bit of glowstone and then we're leaving. That's one of those flowers. I was wondering about that. They look cool. I like them. Alright, uh, glowstone. Glowstone. I think we can reach that stuff. I really only need one piece, so that should be fine. Let's get a second one though. Uh, I've seen there is a uh, stronghold right over there. Not a stronghold, a nether fortress. But that thing will absolutely be looted already, so I don't think I'll even bother going in there. Uh, let's craft our PC. Somebody even left us a crafting table. I mean, I have one, but still, uh, I'll use this one. So we get that. That uh, goes there. That uh, goes there. Redstone below. And those go there. PC. Very good. Very good, and then we'll only have this one on us. That should be the right one, right? Pick this thing back up. Uh, let's have a look. Stats, that's the jolly nature. Perfect. Another morning for me, and it is time to start building on my hut. Over there, Silski has set up. He has uh, his underground base started. There's uh, already a bunch of stuff there. Uh, more 
more of a base than I have with my few chests, and Zobi Maru has been busy over there, um, starting his big castle, Zobi Kazli, as I dubbed it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you can probably hear I, I got a bad guys of the morning voice. So, um, I think what we'll do is have a look at the uh, old camera account up in the sky, as the new camera account up in the sky, somewhere over there, I think. And see how things develop. Well then, let's start laying down the floor plan for now. Uh, you can probably see back here, I got a bit of the, the build palette set up already. Um, these are the blocks that I want to use. Uh, nothing too fancy. Um, it's just supposed to be a house. Nothing too big. Um, so let's see what we can do. First off, uh, I think my PC and my healer will just stay where they are at the moment. Um, so we'll build everything around that. Uh, that probably means right behind them would be a wall. Or a divider of sorts. Um, this should probably be the entrance then, right? So let's just have maybe this as our entrance. And then we'll have a path or a corridor, I guess. Uh, next to it that goes further back. and opens into a bigger room that goes further out to the side. Maybe like that. We don't need too much room, just some chests, uh, maybe a few machines, uh, some decoration. And we'll also have more than one floor, I'm pretty sure, so... Uh, I think this is enough uh, space for now. <laughs> I ran out of material for the ground, oh no. Next, let's work on the uh, entrance way. Let's go up with a few logs, nothing too fancy for now. These are spruce logs. Is this the same height? I don't think so. <laughs> Nailed it. Is that the right height? I think they're the same height. Um, let's see. Well, we're using cobblestone. Weathered cobblestone bricks for the first bit of wall. Uh, so we go like this. Is this an odd or an even number? I didn't count. That's an odd number. Let's have double doors over here. Right in front of the healer and the PC. That will be uh, very convenient. Okay, only got room for a bit of a window over here. Uh, should we do a 2x2 two two window? I think we should. And we'll just have some cobblestone up there as well. Bloop. Um, doesn't look all that inviting yet, does it? Looking at it? Hmm. What do you think? Wait, where are you? There. What do you think? Looks not so inviting, huh? <laughs> The, the, the second account business is kind of funny. Uh, um, yeah, let's introduce some of the wood, maybe, that I want to use. That's the wood that I want to use. Those are chiseled um, spruce planks. Um, I kind of want to leave the entrance, like, with the door to be more stone, but I want to have more wood around the window. That looks weird, though. Yeah, maybe that makes sense with the wood once we build uh, more wall around. Oh, let's start building on this side of it all. Uh, we go up to here. We'll have a beam in here. You wouldn't able to, wouldn't be able to see that. Should we maybe have the beams one further block out from the wall? Maybe we should. Maybe we should have a window in here. Uh, will it look weird having one here? It might look weird from the outside. Well, let's just put, I don't know, a tree or something over there. Let's maybe have a window over here. So we've done the front of the house. And I'm not 100% sure on it just yet, um, how much I like it. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just do some more work. Um, I gotta go and get a bunch of resources still. So um, we'll probably look back at this once the house itself is finished, at least the outside. And in the meantime, I kind of want to um, start evolving my fletchling into a talent flame so I can actually fly around on it. So I think that's what we'll do next. Oh, so that Suicune did spawn on me. Yeah, I, I didn't realize. That, that spawned a while ago. Um, I didn't know where it was, I didn't see it, so I didn't say anything. But yeah, um, <laughs> there's no way we can do anything with that. Should we? 
Okay, I got one single Pokeball. Should we try? <laughs> I think we should. So, uh, the goal right now, though, is to finally evolve our uh, Fletchling so I can start flying around. Alright, I got some Ultra Balls as well. I forgot. Made those. Oh. Uh, this will be level 70, so there is no chance for us uh, of actually fighting this thing. Bonk. There we go. Mm-hmm. One more. One more, then we run. We got stuff to do. All right, well, never mind. Uh, the bo the bo balls are kind of precious to us at the moment still, so we shouldn't waste them. All right. Illumize, Illumize. I'm not quite sure. We do pick. Uh, all right. I think we should just stick to switching out to Brion. Brion. And killing the pokes with that. And bam, there we go. Fletchling has leveled up to level 15. One more level and it will evolve. Level 17. And it's evolving. Alright, that is number one. Now, the second evolution was level 36, was it? I'm not quite sure. So somewhere around there. Should be no time at all. Um, I am currently training around... Oh, finally, first fire attack. I'm currently training... It around Zobie's space. Um Kazli Zobi. Um it's just a nice open area, it's pretty close by. And he has a healer. I know Dave that heavily underestimated the time uh it would take to level this Pokemon up. Yeah, um um <laughs> I I forgot how much of a grind this game was. So yeah, I, f I finally did it though. Um our Fletchender is now a Jalen Flame, and we can finally start flying around. And, um, alright, we gotta uh, do this first. Uh, retract it and throw it back out. So the hitboxes are aligned properly. Now we're on the bird, not below it. Ta-da! This is the house as far as I got. Um, I also underestimated how much resources I would need and how much time it would take. We still need a roof. We don't have windows yet. But, uh, yeah, this is what we have so far. There's a bunch of uh, changes that I want to make still. And I'm in the water. Right, that's another thing I forgot. Let's not fight for a second. Oh, no. Right, that's how that works. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, on the bird. On the bird. There we go. Um, yeah, so it the, the house is not impressive. It's not done. There's a lot of things I want to do still. Um, and some more mods that I would like to uh, incorporate into the build itself. There's uh, one more thing that I quickly want to do on camera, though. Let's quickly head over to Zobies. That's now easy that we can fly. I think uh, things will really speed up now. Uh, he has this thing. Um, the Architect's Saw Bench from Architecture Craft. And we can put things into here and then uh, make all of these different shapes. Now, in here is a slab. And you might think... Why would you use a mod to make a slab? You can't just craft these. Well, these architecture craft slabs have a really cool thing. Uh, vertical slabs. All right. I think that's that's just really cool. And I don't know if Sobi knows of this yet. So I want to leave him um, one over here and just uh, see what he what he thinks about it. We'll do this like this. Uh huh. <laughs> Look at that. I think he'll really enjoy it. He's he's the builder, so this might be interesting. Uh, let's leave him a sign too. The legends are true. This is the fabled vertical slab. I'm kind of uh, hyped to use these in the builds uh, over at my place at my starter hut, and then well, the starter starter hut, and then the real starter hut in. Um, the still nameless spawn city, and then at our actual base that we'll start building at some point in the future. For now, um, I gotta get some more uh, grinding done because I need a roof, and I've decided to use brick for that. <laughs> I'm already out of brick. This, by the way, is the normal brick texture in this mod pack. Um, one of the mods changes that one. Uh, probably, uh, what's it, quark? Um, that's a bunch of cool things. Um, so yeah, this is the normal brick texture, and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's not the brick texture that I would have given it, 
if I were to uh, change it, but it's a really good one. I like it. Definitely better than the old brick texture that was in the game back in this version of Minecraft. But enough with the rambling, it's time to end the episode, so you can go ahead and watch it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you check back with me next time. Next episode video stream, whatever that will be. And until then, see ya.